Good morning. Thank you for joining today for a reading of Gotcha. Today I am in traditional uh, Tarantella outfit, complete with uh, jewelry that I don't usually wear, um, unless I'm in costume. Um, lots of Italian pins, an apron, uh, traditional Tarantella uh, clothing is, um, it's traditionally like a peasant type uh, look because the original, the dance came from uh, the peasants in the mountains um, of Italy who, you know, Tarantella, there's, there's two different theories of where the name actually came from. Um, one is the word tarantula, so that explains the reason why the dance is fast-paced, and it's like they believed that if you were bitten by the wolf spider, tarantula, um, that you had to do this really fast-paced dance to get the venom out of your system, but now we know the wolf spider or the tarantula is not poisonous. It's not a poisonous bite. Uh, that's kind of funny in itself. But the other theory is that the dance came from a place in Italy called uh, Taranta, which is um, another possible way that they got the name Tarantella. Anyway, lots of Italian festivals, and, and in Italy they would call it a festa, um, they are around this time of year, typically because in October um, is when um, Columbus Day was traditionally celebrated, and it's a really big deal for Italian Americans. I'll, I'll read the book again in another three weeks, and it'll be close to um, that date in October, and I'll talk a little bit more about, about that. But I wrote this book because um, I wanted to include my Italian culture and something about Jesse together. So that's how this book uh, came about. And um, all of my grandparents um, are immigrants. Three of the four um, immigrated from Italy. So very strong Italian traditions in my family growing up. And I just wanted to share that with everybody and uh, let you know a little bit of history behind the book. Um, we have someone here working outside, so if you hear tapping and talking and things like that, I almost canceled, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it anyway. So, um, here we go. Gotcha. Hi, Jesse. Yeah. It's my gotcha day! Zoom! Every year, we celebrate the day. Can you see Jessie? She's got the zoomies. She's got the zoomies. Running around the house. My forever family adopted me. There she is. And Tucker's just sitting there. <laughs> Whew, sorry. I just got really excited. In my family, we call it the Zoomies. It's just another one of those amazing things about me. Just thinking about the special day I left the shelter, Makes my tail go thump, thump, thump. It's my favorite day of the year. And let's be honest, I do deserve the attention. After all, I am Jessie. Everybody knows I love Alaskan cod, but you should taste the other yummy things mom makes, like pizza, Pasta and parm, parma, parmage. Oh, you know, 
that really good chicken stuff with stringy cheese and sauce everywhere, it's the best. When mom is cooking, the house always smells so wonderful. In fact, I want something delicious right now. And then one of those soft, creamy pup cakes with lots of frosting and a treat on top for dessert. Maybe even a trip to that place that gives us cups through the car window. Just thinking about it makes my tummy rumble. Oh, Jessie loves to eat. She loves it. Today, mom is making sauce with hamburger meat and sausage. My mouth is watering. I can smell the garlic, parsley, olive oil, fresh tomatoes, all of the yummy spices, the hamburger meat, and the sausage. It might not sound like a big deal, but when all of those smells are mixed together, wowza. It makes my nose feel like a billion fizzy fireworks bubbles are exploding. Mm. It smells so good. Whoa, where am I? What happened to Jesse? Here we go, sound effects. We're live. We got dogs. <laughs> Sorry. They got to get their little reading in too, right? Where's Jesse? <clears throat> Look in the sky. It's food. I see pup cakes, dog bones, meatballs, pup cakes, even spaghetti. Ah, oh, glorious pup cakes. Treats for me? Of course I can sit. Yeah, I can shake too. Yum! Kind of tastes like sausage. Oh, I smell something really, really, really good. Like mom's sauce, her pizza, maybe even garlic bread. But it's coming from everywhere. This place has the bestest smells ever. C can I have another treat? Mmm, thank you. Yes, people, it's me, Jessie, the most glamorous me you will ever meet. Hello. She was on a gondola, and now she's walking around meeting people like she loves to do. What's this? I'll just grab a little spaghetti. Slurp. And I can't leave this meatball. Mm hmm. Stinky cheese. I don't mind if I do. And crunch. Just a little garlic bread to go. Well, a girl's got to eat, right? Hey. What's all that noise? What's going on? What does that mean? Music's playing. Wow! A party for me! for me. Everyone is celebrating my gotcha day. And look, they're all wearing pink boas. And those songs about amore, I can really feel the love. There goes my tail. Thump, thump, thump.
See how they're dressed? Just like me. Turn telly dancers. The real thing in Italy. People are eating pizza, cupcakes, that parma cheesy stuff, more cupcakes, pasta too. It's a perfect day and all about me, the famous Jessie. Sniff, sniff. I must have dozed off while my extra special meal was cooking right here at home. How'd she get to Italy when she's home? I see cupcakes and pasta, meatballs and sauce. My bowl is full of fantastic food. Bellissimo. Now that's amore. Now this is the part where Jesse and mom say the same thing together. I'm sure glad. I gotcha. All right. All right. Well, you got to hear Jesse and Tucker talk today. That's the beauty of being live, I guess. So, um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. J2. J2 has her little costume on. And let's go over and see Jesse. Jesse, you don't have a costume on. Why not? Where's your costume? Where is your costume? Yeah. All right. Say hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us for story time. Have a great Saturday. Bye.